Hey everyone, I'm Terry G. Thanks a lot for stopping by. This is an alcohol-free life channel where we're to live sober one day at a time. If you could take a second, can you please subscribe to my channel and take another second and hit that like button. I'd really appreciate it. What I want to talk about today is the pros and cons of sponsorship. Becoming a sponsor. What are the things that I did that were right and some of the things I did that were not right or, you know, kind of went off the rails a little bit. So I'm going to sort of talk about the pros and cons. The first thing I want to talk about is sponsees. Sponsees have walked up to me and said, you know, Terry, you make a really good sponsor. And I do take the time out and I make sure that the person I'm sort of mentoring in the 12 step program, you know, learns something, something they can take away, even if they're with me for one month or 10 years, something they can take away that they can use in their life and it's helpful for them. But the one thing that I love, it makes me a good sponsor at times. I haven't been a good sponsor all the time. What makes me a good sponsor is when you find that sponsee, that new person that comes into the program with a light in their eyes and a twinkle in their eyes and they want to get better, they know they're in hot water and they make your job as a sponsor a lot easier because they're enthusiastic, they pick up the phone, they meet you, they read the book, they read the literature and they just want to get better. So the first thing I want to talk about, what is a must, I, I think, is sobriety. You need to have some sort of length of sobriety. And that length of sobriety can be months or it can be years. But the key for, for me and what I want to tell you is that you need to feel good in your own skin and you need to have some knowledge of the 12 step program. You need some sort of knowledge to carry to the next person. You know, the workings of the program, the workings of the traditions, the workings of a home group, some, you know, those kind of things, a general knowledge of a 12 step program, the ins and outs, the behind the scenes sort of stuff, you need to know that because that's basically what we're doing. We're carrying the message of the 12 step program to the next individual. So a knowledge of the program and sobriety. You need some sort of sobriety, some sort of long-term sobriety. And when I say sobriety, I don't mean, I'm not putting years to it or months to it. I'm just saying feeling good in your own skin and having knowledge of the program. And some of us, you know, we grow in the program faster than others, we really do. So I'm not putting a timeline to that, but you, you get what I mean, especially if you're in a 12 step program, you'll understand what I mean. The other thing that you'll need to be a good sponsor is you'll need to have some patience because some of the stuff that sponsees do can make you feel very impatient. And you might, you know, impatience is the kissing cousin to anger. So try and practice patience and understanding when it comes to a new individual in the program. Remember, we've all been there. First day, first week, first hour, we've all been there. Alcoholism, when people sober up, they're like fish out of water and they have a lot of issues. So we have to be patient for them. We have to be patient with them, definitely. If you have no patience, it's the wrong thing to do in the program. There's other means of, of uh, service work that you can do, but sponsorship without patience is kind of really hard. It really is. And go along with patience is an open mind. Have an open mind what the sponsee is saying, because to be honest with you, the sponsee can teach you things also. They really can. My sponsees have taught me things that I didn't know, either about the world around me, about the program, you know, service work, the, the, the traditions, whatever it may be, a new slant on step one or step three. They teach me things, so having an open mind of their views. Because sobriety is always about learning, not just for the sponsee, but for the sponsor too. And that's one of the gifts that I've gotten from being a sponsor. Another thing is availability. If you're going to take on the role of a sponsor, and it's a responsibility, for me it is, you need to be available. You can have one sponsee or 10 or 20, but long as you can service them properly, reach out when they need, when they need help, when they reach out, you can talk to them. Myself, I do no more, I do no more than two sponsees at once. And if the sponsees are need a lot of time, I only do one at once, believe it or not. Because sometimes I can speak to them for hours and maybe two or three or four times a day. So being ready, available, 
making time for them is super important. Like I said, sobriety, I mean, sponsorship is a responsibility. We just don't walk around telling everybody we have 10 sponsees and we're not helping them out in their, in their journey of recovery, okay? Another, another thing is, is that having proper relationships with, you know, like a wife, having an, being in healthy relationships, having resolved or working on your problems with your family, being a, 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 uh, an example of handling your life properly. We can't teach what we don't have. If we wanna teach good sobriety to somebody, we need to have good sobriety too. So the way we manage our relationships, and I'm talking about relationships with the banker, with the wife, with your family, with your friends, the way we manage those relationships is really important. It's really hard to send a message out to somebody when we're not doing it ourselves. You know, you can't give away what you don't have, right? And that's the truth. So, you know, look, if you're looking, if you're a sponsee and you're looking for somebody to be a sponsor, look at some of the qualities that you want. If you want to get married, look for somebody who has a happy marriage. You want to get properly, you know, financed and, you know, look for somebody who seems to be doing better financially than you and ask them about how you can get your finances back on track or, you know, or been in a job for 20 years. Ask them how they managed to stay in a job for 20 years. Cause myself, I couldn't keep a job for 10 years or I mean 10 minutes when I was in early sobriety. Be open-minded to outside resources. Like be prepared to tell your sponsee or the person to go to counseling, to do things to help them go to the gym outside issues and that's one thing a lot of people i think nowadays think that they're like counselors sponsors are not counselors we're not there is a lot of issues that people have coming into the program that the 12 steps can't help and i'm a prime example of that i've had a lot of mental health issues and that the 12 steps would not help me there's no way they could help me with some of my stuff they would so be open-minded to tell your sponsee outside resources, therapy. If they are in legal trouble, don't play lawyer. Tell them to go and hire a lawyer. If they have medical issues, tell them to get a doctor and go to the doctor. Don't try and diagnose everything about the person. Don't. Our job is to carry the message of 12 steps to the individual and guide that person through their lives. We are not doctors, we are not lawyers, we are not chiropractors, we are, we are not all those. So have an open mind or a degree of openness that you can tell that individual who you're helping out to go and see the right resources for they can get their problem straightened out. They can get their problem straightened out. And I'm gonna tell you something, I've done that a thousand times, a thousand times. Another one is, I could go on and on with this because I sponsor a lot of people. Another one is having clear boundaries. And clear boundaries, I think, are one of the biggest mistakes that people do in sobriety, not having clear boundaries. And in 12-step programs, they, they have a saying, carry, don't carry the body, carry the message of sobriety. Carry the message of sobriety. And inexperienced sponsors, can cloud the issue, they really can. They can cloud the issue of carrying the body. It's almost like, you know, they become their personal chauffeur. They become their, they, they join their family. It's almost like they're giving therapy to their families. I've seen that before. Or they start, you know, for God's sakes, dating their sponsee and becoming, still becoming their sponsor and their sponsee they're dating. That's warp stuff, I know, but it happens. But having clear boundaries of where your program and your job starts and when it finishes is really important. That creates a healthy relationship with the individual. And I think that's one of the most important things I wanna tell you. We mustn't carry the body. We carry the message of Alcoholics Anonymous or the 12 steps or whatever program you're involved with. That's our job, but not to nurse the people or mother the person or father the person okay and that is a big huge problem i see 
I see a lot of fallouts with sponsees and sponsors, and it's mainly because one, mainly because of the sponsor gets too involved and oversteps his or her reach in the sponsee's life. And it's, it's a major issue, it really is. But over time, you'll get it. Being a sponsor, you'll make a lot of mistakes, you'll feel inadequate, you'll feel like you don't have all the answers, all that kind of stuff. But that is growth, that stuff is about growth. Freely giving of yourself is one of the best gifts that you can ever give in a 12-step program. It really is. It was for me, and it will continue to be for me. It only strengthens my program, it renews my program, it renews my life, gets me thinking, and then it makes me feel that I belong still. And us old guys in the program with a number of years of sobriety have a lot to give back when it comes to the newcomer or anybody. It really does. Sponsorship is a really intricate part of the whole recovery process. I don't care if you've been in the program one hour or 10 years or 20 years. If you don't have a sponsor, I would say get one. We all need somebody to talk to, to tell our intimate thoughts to, to do the steps with, to do the fourth and fifth with, and get things off our chest, no matter how silly we think it could be, really, okay? My name is Terry G. This is an alcohol-free life channel where we're going to live sober one day at a time. You can take a second, hit that subscribe button, take another second, and hit that like button. I'd really appreciate it, okay? And just remember one thing. Sobriety is freedom. It really is. Sobriety is freedom. Ciao for now.